It's a lovely morning in the Puget Sound. We're in Bremerton this morning, and you may be wondering, why is he doing these videos? It's to help educate you on the market. I'm not doing this just for fun. I mean, actually, I am. I love doing this. I love looking at properties. But we are at a really cool value-add deal. If you don't know what value it is, let me know. I will explain. We are three duplexes all in a row on a nice residential street built in the 50s. They're cinder block construction, but they look real solid. They have flat, flat roofs. Um, they're all two bed. They're large two beds. Let's take a look and I will explain where there's opportunity here. Uh, you've got some landscaping you got to keep up on, but this is what I mean with cinder block, right? They're all individually metered. Come on in. This is one of the dated units and you've got a nice dining area. You've got a living room area. Uh, you have a huge kitchen and I'm not sure what this purpose is serving. Um, we'll let your imagination work while on this. The real hard surface, there's no padding under here. I'm guessing there was either stone uh, tile or some sort of ceramic tile and they just didn't put padding down. Come on back here, you got a huge bedroom here, uh, huge laundry room, um, linen closet, second bedroom. Again, uh, this needs a full gut. Uh, I wouldn't say down to the studs necessarily, maybe. It depends on the wiring, the plumbing. Huge bathroom. And uh, before all your uh, black mold red flags go up, this is probably mildew. It, don't, don't rush to conclusions that it's black mold and you're going to get sick from it. It looks like just disgusting mildew. And, you know, everything's very dated, but it's huge space in here. Um, and it leads to the outside. Now, here's where I see some excellent opportunities for a little bit of an upgrade on amenities. You enclose this space, maybe build a nice little deck and close this so people can let their little dogs run out here, do whatever, grill their barbecue. It would add so much value to this, this unit. Okay. And now we, I do see we've got the old aluminum windows come on out, Rebecca. We've got the old aluminum windows are cracking. So, you know, those would need to be replaced, but the foundation looks good. The exterior looks good. You don't have siding to worry about. So those are some of the positives. Um, not sure how loud these apartments back here get, but again, putting up a partition and enclosing this would be great. So I'm going to run some numbers on this for you and show you if it makes sense. It's 1.4 million for three duplexes. They're all on their own lot. So you could actually sell off one or two and keep one if you wanted as well. Um, but I think for 1.4, it's probably a little high based on the need of the updates um, in each of these units. I think four of them still need to be updated. And you're probably looking at 25, 30,000 bucks to do it right. Um, but stay tuned for numbers. All right, welcome back, multifamily investors. We are running the numbers. This is the three duplexes, all in the same row, on the same street, side by side. So, kind of, they've listed it as a six unit deal. Um, kind of like this one, you know, because they're all separate parcels. You could actually keep one, sell off two, keep two, sell off one. If you wanted to, um, again, if you own them outright, you're going to have a loan against buy all three of these, but you could probably get three residential loans, which are better financing and do a rate. They're offering the rate buy down here from the seller. And if you use their preferred lender, which could shave off about a point. So we're going to run these numbers at instead of seven and a half, we're going to just use six and a half, which is very, very helpful. They're asking price with the hopefully, you know, our 25% down and I've already plugged these numbers in at the taxes and insurance listed in the, again, what, whatever's listed in the listing I run with for now, uh, just to give her a snapshot. But I also have to add in some management here, which for most of my clients or people watching would probably consider, but, but if you self-manage, you know, you're looking at saving five, 600 bucks a month, uh, easily. So, and then some miscellaneous stuff here. But with that, um, again, another dog on numbers, you know, negative $1,000 a month. I, I really, really, I don't think most listing brokers that do these smaller things run the numbers. One, they don't offer like pro forma projections, like an op offering memorandum, like the, like the bigger brokers do, uh, the big commercial brokers, which shows pro forma and all the potential, right? Uh, anyway, uh, at 1.4, 25, even if we came in 50% down, which is a good chunk, you know, now you're going to, you're going to meet, um, a commercial lenders requirement of 1.25, which is, uh, their usual minimum requires, but you're only going to, you know, basically see less than two, 2% cash on cash return, uh, year one, which isn't great. So I would like to see us maybe try and get this for a little bit less. 
right? We never do round numbers. And see if we can shave off a little bit because we're going to need some money here too. I'm not I'm not budging a lot for reserves going in, but if you're going to want to get these pro forma max rates, you got 1680 on one of them. So it shows the potential there. Uh, you're going to need to to come in with 50, 60,000 bucks to do the two other or three other units here to get those top market rents so you can see that cash flow hit almost close to three grand a month. Uh, and you do a lot better, right? So when you, if you're looking at this deal compared to the eight unit I did in Bremerton earlier as well, uh, I think there's pros and cons to each. I think I would prefer maybe this one. It's a little more quirkier though. It's from the 50s, cinder block construction. You probably need to update some wiring, some plumbing. It is flat roof. Uh, they list it as a 577 cap. On my snapshot, I think it's closer to a five even really in the reality, right? It's always, the reality is always a little, uh, not as attractive as what's being marketed for sure. But if we look at the snapshot, then a little bit closer, you know, my, my DSCR goes green when it's over 1.25. And uh, these are bigger units, by the way, 984 square feet. Uh, they built them nicer and bigger, I think back then, obviously. Uh, had a big bathroom, big laundry room. And uh, still not fantastic, but again, what I'm telling everybody and what everybody should know is, you know, we're not buying and holding for a year or two, most likely. Uh, a lot of these are long-term buy and hold plays. We're, we're uh, planning for the long-term on the market and the debt being involved in the deal. And uh, we know rates are not consistent for 30 years fixed uh, indefinitely by the Fed or anything. They do fluctuate. I mean, they're fixed on your loan when you finance. And you're welcome to sit at that rate for 30 years till you pay it off or whatever. But most people do plan to refi. And this this is nice. The lenders saying they even will waive their lender fees for future re refinance to a lower rate through the end of 2025. So if you use them to purchase this and uh, rates drop even lower than what you come in at, even with this discount, based on what this brief description says, uh, that you can refi with that lender uh, without any fees involved which is pretty attractive and nice so anyway i uh, hope that's helpful i'll show you the numbers the little snapshot you know what the opportunities are out there for not only just duplexes and triplexes but some bigger things six units or eight units and above i like to get out there that's kind of a rare opportunity to, to tour a property uh before we submit an offer and uh, if that doesn't make sense to you let me know because i'm happy to explain why that process is different when we're shopping for multifamily investment properties versus like a single family or a condo. All right. I hope that's helpful. Thank you for watching.